Kaspersky products have been out there combating and thwarting and disrupting and, and foiling uh, some advanced persistent threat attacks for quite some time. But because of the specificity of the targets and the complexity of the attacks, there is no single impervious defense, and, and there may never be. So at Kaspersky, we are taking our unique threat intelligence and looking at how the advanced persistent threat is evolving and what we can potentially do to, be, to thwart advanced persistent threat attacks over time. We've got some new technology that's being developed and that will be announced over the next several months specific to that, to that area. It'll give us early response, it'll give us the ability to react, it comes with services to deal with uh, forensics and, and in fact the ability to counterattack and reverse the damage potentially of advanced persistent attacks. There are some other vertical markets that provide some, some dilemmas, for example, critical infrastructure. It used to be that critical infrastructure operators could just keep their stuff separate from the rest of the world, not connect it to a network, and it would be safe. But as devices have begun to proliferate and there are clearly advantages to connecting these, uh, these systems to networks, attacks have begun to find their way in. And there are some recently publicized attacks where malware have found themselves, has found its way into nuclear power plants, for example, on the way of a USB stick. The reality of critical infrastructure is that it needs a different approach than traditional anti-malware in a traditional business setting both in the terms of how you secure the operating system that these, that these control systems are run on, as well as how you apply advanced security uh, techniques uh, and technology to critical infrastructure. Another area that we're focused on is, is the financial services industry. Um, and this is clearly you know, the number one target of attacks in cybercrime today. And certainly because of the growing uh, amount of transactions that are occurring online, and also transactions that are occurring on mobile devices. And so these are particular areas of vulnerability. Our solutions look at two sides. Number one is the client. So what's actually happening on that mobile device or on that laptop? Is the connection to the financial institution secure? Is it something that's being snooped on? We can secure that connection. We can also look at user behavior from the financial institution's data center and look at anomalies in user behavior. Is there something going on there that is unusual that needs special attention and therefore can give the financial institution an opportunity to take action perhaps in advance of an attack? And then there are services that go along with this as well, um, both services in terms of identifying attacks, training IT staffs about financial malware, post-infection services, uh, so there's a real variety of things that we can offer specifically to the financial institution.